can't play that. I haven't done that for ages. <laughs> yeah. You didn't like play it at Weezer this year? Not this year. This year. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah. I like the tune. <laughs> Concert reel. And who wrote that? I used to know who wrote it, but I can't remember. Eric, Some Canadian played. guy, you know. The one that, that's the one that uh, it's not Wade Bob Ward. Montgomery, did you play that one yet? That's the one. That's the one. That's that was Bob Montgomery's right. tune. He didn't write it, but <laughs> he, he, owned it. he owned it. <laughs> he owned it. He won every contest he ever entered, he played that tune in and won. So I figured if I learned the tune, maybe, maybe I could beat him in a contest. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> Normally it would be a hoedown. The, yeah, the way I, the way I know it. I mean, the way I've heard it. Yeah. Oh, lost Indian. No, no, no. D. And there's a B minor in there somewhere. I haven't played this for ages, so if I can remember it, it'll be a miracle. Same tune that yeah, you're talking about. Okay. Well, I. That's a yeah. That's an odd way of doing. It. I got that from Paul Wiley of all people. Uh -huh. That second part. It's neat. Yeah. So just. It's very bluegrassy kind of a way of doing it. Just my old coon dog. Old coon dog. Which one? Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Stuff. Nobody can play it slow. That's how fast it's played for dancing. Well, in Missouri. In Missouri. In Missouri. Yeah. They play fast and they <laughs> dance fast. Wow. I was sitting next to uh, John White in the at the Hallsville Community Dance last, it was about a year, a year ago. ago yeah, just about a year ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallsville, Missouri. And he played that tune and I didn't know it when we started, but after eight and a half minutes, or 14 minutes, or however long we played it. I knew it. <laughs> we have a video of that. Yeah. Of the dance. Yeah, I mean, the video is set up where we are, so it didn't really show the band, but it's cool. <laughs> Those guys squared in. What's another one? Uh,
Uh, that one is called uh, My Skiff is on the Shore. And the oldest name I found for it is Linden Waltz. It's like from 18... Linden Waltz, 1840 or something like that. But uh, it's a pretty thing. I love it. And I think there's been some songs written, you know, other song words written to it, so it gets the name of whatever song. How about this one? In A. Waltz number three from Jack Woolsey in a handwritten manuscript from the Willamette Valley from 1870 or thereabouts. Waltz from Jack Woolsey number three. He lived in. Uh, <laughs> he lived in Baker City. Baker, Baker City. Uh, no, he lived in John Day. John Day, you're he right. Had a John saloon. Day. Is he the John saloon owner? Canyon City. Canyon City. Yeah. Jack Woolsey was a saloon owner in Canyon City, Oregon, in um, 1865. So we know who he was, and, and we know that somebody got that tune from him. <coughs> it's you very mysterious. Goodbye, Walt. No, I don't. I love I've only it. I've heard two people play it. The little girl from Yeah. From oh, I, I used Marco to hear it all the time. It's a great tune. I, I can play along if somebody else is leading it. I kind of know it, but I couldn't. I couldn't pull it out of the air to save my life. Yeah. I don't know. What's that? Oh, how about D? Thank you. 
Rye straw. Rye straw. Rye straw. Rye straw. Rye straw. Rye straw. Sometimes it's called the unfortunate dog or the joke on a puppy. Isn't that a good tune? That is a fun tune. It was played at an 1862 wedding in Seattle. 1862. Some guy named Jake Lake played it at, at a wedding on the Duwamish River in a cabin. It's pretty funny. He also played Devil's Dream. What else did he play? I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Arkansas Traveler. The usual. Yellow Barber. Do you remember that? <laughs> Another good thing.